second, guys. I'll be right there. All right. Hi. There's not that many of us, but that's okay. Can you all hear me? Thumbs up. Sweet. All right. Cool. Good stuff. I'm just going to grab some notes. It's a light evening. I don't know what's going on today, but that's all right. I'll take it. Um, and who is the other guest that doesn't come up with a video? And so I don't know who you are, so I apologize. iPhone 4. That's all it says. Um, all right. Hi, guys. Well, hi, all five of you. Um, it'll be hopping on in a minute. So, um, Mallory, welcome. So Mallory is her first time on the call. She just joined the other night. Um, usually we have a few more guests than this, but oh, there's Dawn. It must have been you. Hi, Dawn. Um, so Mal, what we usually do is we usually go around and um, celebrate wins. I'm gonna actually start doing it a little bit differently. <laughs> You're going to be the first one up because it's your first time on the call. So you can um, introduce yourself to everyone, Mallory. Tell them why you're here, um, what challenges that you have, um, maybe what kind of support you're looking for. But um, yeah, welcome to your first Zoom call. Thanks. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, hi, guys. Yeah, I'm Mallory. And I was really excited that Shari told me I could come and join this group. I definitely like having someone to help keep me accountable. And when she told me about this group and that was 12 weeks and it's not just, you know, the typical diet and like the typical challenge, um, I was all in for it. I definitely find I struggle with being able to hold myself accountable after a cheat meal that's one of my biggest problems is not um, getting too far gone and having a little bit more and turning into a cheat day. Um, so that's something I'm definitely going to work on. And really, I just, I like feeling motivation from other people. So if I'm working out with you, I hope you don't find it annoying. If I'm pushing us to keep going at the last 10 seconds of the round, it's just kind of the person I am. It, Hyping you up helps hype me up, so I hope you guys are okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love it. Um, Mal, like I was talking to you the other day, um, they're, they're not on, but um, I was telling you that some of the people in Neptune are, are in the group too, so I was mentioning one of the girls, Megan, that she works out at 6 p.m., sometimes 7 p.m., so I was like already telling I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, Mallory's going to be here. I was like, I want to introduce you guys, so, but I mean, I love it, you know, like, one, one day in Neptune in the morning, like last week, a bunch of people in the group were able to work out together. And it is motivating. You know, it's like, especially when you are all in the same group and you're really working towards something together, you know, so even working out together makes it like a little extra special. Um, you know, I feel you with the cheat meals sometimes, like sometimes Ed and I will be like, all right, we're just going to go for a meal. And then the next morning we're like, I'll just go for breakfast. So, you know, it's... A part of a part of this is is remembering why you're doing this, and I'm actually kind of touching on it just a little bit to tell you what Monday's motivational um, video about is about is um, basically being persistent in your pursuit of what you want, right, and why you're here and why you want it, and you know, so we have to remember that. And if I haven't um, reminded everybody who's new and who's possibly been in the group for a while and if you've never done it I want you guys to post your three goals okay in the Facebook group one only one can have uh, can be fitness related the other two have to be some type of personal goal whether it's related to work love life anything um, I think it's kind of amazing because some of the people in the group have posted some of those personal goals and they're already working towards them I think um, you know, saying your goals and putting them out into the universe helps to vibrate that back to you. And it, um, it lets people know that what you want to do with life. So that's a little bit of a push too. people say, Hey, are you working on this or working on that? So if you're in the group, if you've been here for a while, or if you're new, I want to see your three goals, one fitness related two other goals related to your life. And then, um, your five whys, which, um, a few people have done your whys or, you know, why are you here? What do you want from this? And it's usually three of them are superficial and then two of them get really deep into um, 
why you're here. So not just because, oh, well, I just want to look good and I want to feel good. You know, it could go deeper for some people and it could have to do with maybe like, well, you know what? I was never confident as a kid because I got bullied or whatever the case may be, but it makes you really dig deep as to why you're here or why you want to work on your health and your fitness and, and really get to that deep rooted thing so that that's one thing that you can always remember when you possibly are struggling. So sorry, I got off on a tangent now, but, um, Thank you for being here. I'm super happy that you're in the group. Remember that face, guys, if you see her in Neptune, all right? We can work <laughs> out together, all right? <laughs> all right, Mel, thanks for being here. I'm gonna put you on, so I do that too. I put everybody on mute until I, unless you have a question or raise your hand or whatever, but I'm I joined you. late, this is Ashley. Um, when do you go? Oh, I'll she, work out with you. <laughs> she, um, she, go ahead, Mel. So I, I work far and working out at night is better for me because in the morning, if I work out, I'll need a nap afterwards, which doesn't work. Like I really push hard at the gym. So I go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, either six or seven. And I try to only do Neptune, but sometimes I pop over to brick. Um, and then, well, now there isn't even a seven over there. And then Saturday mornings, I like the 9 a.m. All right, let's connect offline because I will definitely try and um, go with you at night. So, oh, awesome! Oh my gosh! Okay, yes, thank Yay, you. Yay! Power of the group. I love it. Yeah, right, making connections already. Thanks, Ash. Thanks, Mal. All right, so I'm gonna start doing this a little bit differently from now on. All right, because I feel like over the past few weeks, people have felt a little challenged with finding things that they want to celebrate. So I don't want to make you guys feel pressured in anything that you do. So we're going to do this a little bit differently. Instead of me just starting to call on people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask if anybody wants to volunteer, all right, to celebrate a win um, or to even talk about a challenge. So if you would like to start, um, you could just raise your hand and we'll go. Francie, I got you, girl. You quit open up that hand. I'm excited. So I, I have to tell you, I just bagged up five bags of clothes. So five bags of clothes that we will be donating um, because I have had so much success so far that I don't need them anymore. That's awesome. I'm so that's my win. You. You're so, oh my gosh, you're so awesome. I love you, Francie. Um, as you all know too, Francie's staying on with the program and Again, as most of you know, like, you know, we're here for nutrition, but we're here about mindset and we're here to stay accountable because we all have a lot of things going on in life. And so Francie's been doing absolutely amazing. You know, she said it before, so I'm just going to kind of tell a little bit of her mom is, um, what's Francie, what's your mom's dealing with again? Is My it mom has ALS. ALS. Right. So, you know, Francie decided to join the group because she figured what better time to have a bunch of people here supporting her to not only better herself, but to stay strong, to support her family, her mom, her son, her husband, you know, so that's why Francie's here. She's, she's been doing great this whole time. And, um, also if you travel for work and you need advice, Francie's <laughs> figuring this dish out. So, um, Francie, I'm, I'm super proud of you. I'm so happy that you're here. I can't wait till you have to buy a new bathing suit. I'm excited. <laughs> so that's awesome, girl. Um, any challenges so far other than life stuff, but you, how you doing? Um, pretty good. Um, it was a rough week, you know, illnesses, traveling, craziness, um, airport delays, which are always fabulous. Um, but um, I'm getting ready. My instant cart order will be here in about 30 minutes. That's awesome. Um, and then uh, we can prep for this week and get it going. I'm only road traveling this week, which is amazing. I love road travel. So it's a little bit of a break. All right. Fantastic. Well, if you need me, you let me know, but I will see well, you. Yeah, I'm going to start sending some stuff to you again, just to okay. keep myself a little bit more accountable because travel's picked up. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready. You send that text. I actually have somebody else doing that for me too, because um, they've been dealing with um, a physical ailment. They haven't been able to get to the gym. And then what happens, right? You stop going to the gym. So you think because you stop going to the gym, then you can't eat healthy. Meanwhile, that's actually the time that you need to keep eating healthy. So mm -hmm. I, I'm doing what you are doing. So I was like, <laughs> I want to see food pics. Like you're going to see food pics. She's like, oh my God, 
let's do it. So thank you for reminding me of that and you send away, okay? Awesome, thank you. All right, thanks, Francie. All right, anybody else wanna volunteer to celebrate anything? Bueller, not even Ed, oh my gosh. Maddie, let's go, girl. Go ahead, Maddie. You up. Uh, celebrating this weekend, just a lot of family time. Um, we really took advantage of the weather. Went to the park yesterday. We went outside a couple times today. Took the dog out. So really just kind of feeling refreshed. Got all my meal prep done by like 11 o'clock this morning. So I was like super stoked about that. So I'm like, is it ready, ready really to go time? into the week? Yes, I'm feeling a lot better than last week. Um, as you know, Sherry, last week was just a big struggle. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much everything was a struggle. <laughs> Listen. So, feeling a lot better going into this Good. week. And listen, every week is not going to be, uh, you know, it's it's not yeah. going to be up and you're you're not always going to feel great, right? Like, life is a roller coaster, like I've said. And it's okay. Like, one, one thing that I tell people is that, yes, it, is it okay? it's okay to feel your emotions, right? Mm -hmm. What we have to do is, like, we figure out how to deal with them and how to move on. And... You know, you, you're like, I, I'm journaling and I'm feeling better. And, you know, we talked a little bit. And so, like, that's what it is. Like, it's okay to feel the way you do because just shit happens. Yeah. Right? But we don't want to sit in that. We want to find a way to, you know, deal with those emotions. And mm -hmm. then we move on and we start the week fresh. So I'm super glad that you're feeling way better today because we're going to rock the shit out of this week. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to the to the people that um, like reached out on the post that I put out there. I told Sherry and, and Sherry's Ed that I don't really like put myself out there too much when I struggle. So like that step alone was a really big thing for me. So then just having like people like comment and tell me like, yeah, it's all right. I've been through that too. Like it, it was super helpful. See, big, little steps sometimes lead to big changes. So, you know, even just that, that little reach, you know, you, you, you see that people care and that people, you know, are genuinely concerned about how you feel because we all go through the same thing. So I'm not going to lie. I had a little bit of my own emotional breakdown this week and, you know, Ed's seen the worst of it, but I, I you know, I'm, I'm feeling better too. So it's okay because mm -hmm. we're, we're human and it happens. So it's, but we're both rolling into this week yeah. on a higher yeah. note. <laughs> yes. right. So I'm very proud of you for reaching out and you just don't forget that that's what you do and that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. Danielle, I saw your hand up. You still wanna go? Hey. Hi, so um, first of all, I had a pretty decent, like I had a pretty good week. You know, I was asked kicker of the week, which I was really excited about because I, said I was going to do it and it happened and I was actually kind of shocked, <laughs> but at the same time I wasn't, <laughs> but, um, also, uh, I did my in body and it actually really shocked me because <laughs> I remember at the beginning, like halfway when we did the six weeks and I had said like I was eating more and my body weight went up, but I was just going to trust the process. And I was really excited when I got on the scale and it was 20 pounds less than what it was. And I remember texting you um, because I was just really shocked about it. So I was, I'm like, it helped me um, stay motivated. Um, and I wanna thank everybody for their like support and everything throughout this whole time. Um, it's really helped me stay focused, especially since I've been going through a lot of emotional stuff which is one of the challenges um, I actually had this week was I'm really proud of myself. I've been proud of myself for working hard and doing everything. But like one of the people I really um, shared a lot more like with my um, fitness journey and everything what, and like my aspirations was my boyfriend at the time. So even though like, I'm really proud of myself and I'm not taking away from it. I did feel really sad because I wanted, he was like the first person I wanted to share it with and I couldn't. So I, that kind of was rough for me. So it just helped that I had the support of everybody else so I could not focus on that. Um, I know at one point I was really sad, but then I just like, was like, you know what? There's so many other people here for me. So um, that's- you got all these people on this call. 
Yeah. Everybody, everybody unmute yourself right now. I don't know if you know how to do that. If not, unmute yourselves and give Danielle a freaking round of applause. Okay? And there you go. That's all you need, girlfriend. Okay? And I get that you were upset for a second because in a small way, he may have been not part of your journey. But working along your journey because he might have been there to see it, but he's not part of your journey because right. this journey's for you. Right, right. right? And you right. and you did this. Right. Right. He didn't do this for you. Right. But I get it. You just kind of want to be like, see? I yeah, told like, you. That's like, what you really want to do is be like, I told you I could do it. And he was always supportive, so I don't want to make it sound like he wasn't, but you know what I mean. You I get, get what I mean. <laughs> so you, want to be like, you know what? I did it, but you know what? Your cheerleaders are right here, baby. Okay. Right, right. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Thank you. And congratulations, because Danielle is also going to stay on with us for six more months. Yay! Which Yay. I'm very excited about because, as I've told you, like, literally, like, we met. We started easy at the same time, and I just feel like I've always had this connection with you. So I feel like I'm like watching like a butterfly spread her wings and fly. And so like I I'm just so excited to continue watching your journey, and not just like with health or fitness, but like with everything because like I've already seen you blossom so much. Like I'm so excited for you. So I'm like, yay! Thank you, thank you. Oh, speaking of which, while I'm thinking about it. I, I'm going to be participating in an art show soon. I'll let you guys know more details as it comes. All right. Hey, <laughs> awesome. This is a great way to end your ass kicker week. Fantastic. Thank you. I love it, Danielle. Thank you for sharing. All right. Bye. All right. Anybody? Ed, okay, Ed, I see your hand. I see your hand. Yes, Ed, what would you like to celebrate? Uh, I'm actually not celebrating. Um, I had uh, i have a challenge actually it was well first i wanted to ask megan what she was wearing on her head and then say hi to her for being part of the uh the easy dodgeball team that lasted six minutes that's pretty awesome <laughs> <laughs> um so it was a shitty week it was a shitty week um and uh, I mean, diet was fine, actually, except for, I shouldn't say except for, treated myself to a burger last night. That was phenomenal. And I don't regret it. It was fantastic. Um, but just emotionally, I think that it was just a rough week. And Shari and I really had a struggle this week. Um, not with each other, just in general. Um, just life got in the way. So I feel like I struggled at the gym. My body broke down. So I know you guys, some of you guys read it. I'm just going to take the week off from easy and I'm not going to allow the FOMO that all of us get to be there, get in the way because life goes on without easy surprise. So I'm going to take the week off and, um, let my body rest. Diet's going to stay the same. I'm not going to. Really good with that. Just really tired, and part of it is just the mental capacity. And uh, the people that are on this call, it's awesome because you guys help me as much as you say I help you. I love that you guys stay on these calls, and you're just such a big. It's a, such a big part of the process. Like I've seen Danielle and Francie and Maddie and Taryn and Michelle get on all of the calls that you guys are here all the time, get to see your beautiful faces on the video all the time. And and you guys are so vulnerable and it helps me to be able to not be afraid to share when life just get in the way and things are not great. Um, and that's it. I mean, celebration is that I'm here and I feel like comes down more weight. I mean, not that the not that the scale matters because I haven't gotten on the scale, but uh, my belt loop is on the last loop, and uh, my pants, if I don't wear a belt, will fall off. And actually, my wife slash coach has yelled at me at the gym to tie my shorts because she nobody wants to see my my 
pretty little booty that I'm trying to get best booty at the easies for, but you know, maybe it's an accident. Maybe it's not, who knows? Um, but I just appreciate all you guys. And it's just, um, not every week's going to be sunshine and rainbows. So that's, uh, that's about it. Well, I'm going to meet you for a second. Ed. Um, going back to what Ed said, like I said, you know, I try to be as in full integrity with you guys as you are with me. And it really was, it was a rough week for me. I, I'm feeling so like emotionally drained and, you know, Ed had to be here to, you know, kind of pick up the pieces, but at the same time it, you know, it falls on him emotionally too, to see me like struggling. So, you know, it's just, life is a roller coaster. And I even said to him earlier when I had a breakdown, I was like, I wish I had Doritos. Like I just, I don't even eat chips. I just wanted Doritos, but you know, and, and that's the thing, but thank God we didn't have them. And you know what? I went into the kitchen and I had, you know, I had my food and it is what it is guys. Like it's not always going to be great. And I really did. Like I was super close to like a mental breakdown, but like Ed said, thank God for this group because I be able to come on and like listen to you guys, whether it's celebrating a win or, you know, talking about challenges, we all have challenges, right? So like, this is what we're here for. <laughs> I need you guys just as much as you think you need me because like, I'm actually feeling reinvigorated right now. And, and you guys keep reminding me why I'm doing this and you know, why I'm here for you and helping to support you because you support me too, whether you'd like to know it or not, but you really are. So along with Ed, I'm grateful for you guys and for the support because, um, you know, seeing all your faces on this call, like, it's just a reminder of why, like, at the end of the day, life is really good. So I just want to thank you guys for that. So I'm going to pause for a second. I'm not going to ask for any more volunteers. I'm going to go over to Lori. Lori, can you hear me or can you talk? Oh, I don't hear you. Hold on. We're going to have to, you got to put your sound on somewhere because I want you to talk, girlfriend. I can't hear you. All right. We're going to try this later. Ed, maybe you can help her in the chat. I know you're good at that. Um, who doesn't know it's Thomas Six? Just saying. Who, who's that? Miss Andre. Oh, hi. hi. Do you want to share my girlfriend? What's going on? Um, uh, sure. Um, I can't stay too long. I'm exhausted. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I'm struggling. I'm one night. My whole world is upside down right now. I'm not, not doing good. I had pizza, um, had wine, to unwind. And, um, cause I've just been my hours work. I've been crazy. been struggling. I, I did lose four pounds. I've been counting, measuring, and it's really exhausting, but it's just like a um, learning in progress, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I haven't made it a gym as much as I wanted to. I'm going to try to make up this week. I'm trying to figure out my um, schedule, you know, just going so late at work. I'm coming home so late and come home and I drink Red Bull to make it home because I have to drive over an hour. It's uh, it's uh, exhausting. I'm tired. Uh, my mind is not there. And uh, <clears throat> today I've been cooking all day, packing, you know, measuring. And uh, my husband is back home, so it's just uh, uh it's emotional roller coaster, really. It's just hard. But um, I'll keep my head up. So here's the thing. When, even if you can't make it to the gym, and um. I if Lori could, oh, Lori can testify to that. Um, you know, there's been times when Lori hadn't been able to make it to the gym and had done a challenge and followed the nutrition. I think the one time she lost like 20 pounds. So, you know, even though it may be tough and you're dealing with a change in your situation right now and being tired, your, your greatest asset is to actually stick to the nutrition. And I know in times of being tired and, and weakness, but not in a bad way, weakness, you know, we want to lean on the things like food to comfort us, like pizza and wine. But at the end of the day, where, where is that, where is that getting you? No, nowhere. I just, I, I was just so exhausted. I could, I, I just, I didn't want, he got home and then it was like, I was like, you know what? 
help with that. So uh, today I prepared a cook, they shopped, I got everything ready. I mean, I've been good all week. I lost four pounds this week, even though like I've been all like screwed up, you know? So uh, I'm, I have my mind up, you know, it's, it was one day and back the next day and it's, uh, it's just life. You, you, it's nothing is perfect. So I feel like it's like, you know, I, I screwed up the one day. I'm going to go back another day and fix it. And the next week, you know, and uh, I'll get back on a, on a horse. So uh, I'm just, I uh, just need to, I uh, just need to go back to normal, you, just you need, know. You just need to sleep and go back to morning hours. Yeah. Night is really a hard thing, you know, starting at eight o'clock to like 5 a.m. Then, uh, you know, I have a Red Bull, which is sugar free, but I just need to make it home. And then I, you know, I need to combine sometimes from drive. So, like, I have, like, a drink or something. I, I know it probably sounds like alcoholic for most people, but it just it's hard to go to sleep when you just drive for, like, an hour or so. It, it, you hey. know, it's just like, <laughs> it's like, it's shit, it's hard, you know? So, I'm, 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 I put my mind right back to it, you know? It's like one day, I was just like, I was like, I'm not cooking, I'm not doing shit, because I just went food shopping, got everything right, I prepared, I measured, I packed it, everything is done for, like, a week. So, um, uh, I just, uh, you know, it, it's just hard. It, it's uh, gonna, it's a little harder. So you're ready for the week and you're ready to go. Oh yeah. I, I mean, dude, I went to the, I went to the store. I cooked till up to like an hour ago all day. Everything is packed, right. measured. Right. Everything is done. So, so ready I'm ready. for. So we move on from the pizza I, and wine and I'm going to send you, yeah. I'm going to send you some stuff on, um, on your cell phone that is like. Um, a meditation to listen to so that when you get home, try that first before you hit the wine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. All right. I gotta hop yeah. off. I get it. I understand, girl. All right. I'll talk. I'll All right. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All You're right. the best. Okay. All right. Lori, where you at? Lori, where you at? Lori! Hi. Can I? Can, I'm trying to hear you. Talk. I can't hear you so what's going on? Lori, unmute yourself. I can't hear you. I still can't hear you. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. All right, we're gonna pause you again for one second. Uh, we're gonna take it over, uh, anybody else volunteering to celebrate? Don, yeah, all right, Don, hi, Don. I don't know. I'm trying to unmute. I don't know what's going on today. Unmute yourself. What is going on today? Technical issues. Okay. There you it? go. Yes. Oh. I had I to know. unmute. Oh, it wouldn't let me do it with the button. Um, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. So I had um, I had a pretty good week. Um, it was a bit of a struggle going from. I, cause I was got in the habit of the three meals with intermittent fasting and, um, going to five meals and a lot more really like protein and all, you know, like we said, so it, yeah, but it was, it was good. I, I mean, I had a good week. Um, I'm glad that I started this because I probably wouldn't have done my in body for the challenge because I felt like I had failed miserably with that six week challenge. And, and when we did it, actually, I didn't really lose any weight, but I gained two pounds of muscle. So that was actually, it was good. It was okay. And here's the thing, not only just for you, but for most of the people that have already been through this and started the program, like everybody's eating more protein than they've ever been used to. So it's not just, you know, it's not just a struggle for you, even though you were doing interim in and three meals. I mean, Number one, you probably weren't even getting as much protein as you just should have had anyway. But mm -hmm. you know, so it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit hard in the beginning. I told you, and it's like you you're right now. You're just gonna you're gonna do your best to get in as much as you can. Once that metabolism starts catching up, I can guarantee you, you're gonna be like, oh my god, give me my food. And mm -hmm. you, you might even get angry. I'm just I really saying. only, I, I think really it was like the first two days for sure. Like the first two days by the end, I'm like, oh my God, I got to eat something else. Like really, I felt like that just ah, like I'm shoving it down. But after that, it was fine. And then I tell you, you know, I told you that one day I saw you, whatever day that was, um, 
things that I, I felt like my workout was so much better. I don't know. <laughs> it really was, but it felt because like you're it eating was. enough food. You're eating the things that you need. You have your fuel that are, it's helping you get through your workouts. So, you know, it's just, like I said, it's, it's hard in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to eat as much as, you know, protein as we should be eating, right. To mm -hmm. get us to where we feel good and where the body's using that to build the muscle and cut the fat. But you know what, once you do it and you get there, it's, you want more, trust me. Like I'm in the process of like, oh my God, I hit my macros. I need more protein because I'm still hungry. Mm -hmm. so, you know, yeah. so just, just, just being consistent with it. And it, it, I promise you it, it will get a little bit easier. So thank you for sharing it. Thank you for sure. being honest. Mm -hmm. Thanks Don. Anybody else? Anybody else? Taryn. Hi Taryn. Hi everyone. Yeah. Um, sorry. Of course, when I start talking, the dog barks. Um, so I just wanted to, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, I've had like a rough couple of weeks, but I really enjoy this group because every week it really helps me to, here, you know what, maybe come back to me. <laughs> All right. Anybody else in the meantime, every single time Tyron goes, that dog starts barking. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Everybody, if you look on your thing, somewhere on there is a little microphone where you can unmute yourself. If Sherry can't do it, if she's mute, unmuting you and you're staying muted, it's because there's a microphone on there. You can either click in the top right corner where it says mute, unmute, and you can unmute yourself, or in the bottom corner, there's a little microphone that you can click on and you should be able to unmute yourself. So I don't know if that helps you, Lori, but that's possibly what the problem is. Bless you down there. Lori? <laughs> I still can't hear you, Lori. Oh my gosh, this is impossible. Hold on. No, I don't know. We'll Maybe get... try turning your volume up too. If you're turning the mute off, turn the volume up on your, on your whatever you're using. We're gonna get to you, Lori, I promise. Taryn, you good? Good to go? So, um, I just... <laughs> Um, so yeah, so basically I had a rough couple of weeks and what I learned from that experience is that I really just have to put myself first, which throughout the 12 weeks of this group, I've learned that, um, but I really like, I eliminated the stress that I had had, um, and kind of just like took some time for myself and like, you know, did some soul searching. And I realized that when I like eliminated that, I did so much better. I haven't been to the gym yet, but just trying to work on nutrition and just putting myself first, you know, like tomorrow I took off work just to just have some time to regroup because I had to work today. I've never done anything like that before. So just trying to like try new things see what works, see what doesn't work. I'm just very grateful for this group because I'm really learning, you know, to put myself first. That's good. And that awareness is, is huge, huge. I'm not gonna lie. I did the same thing myself. I had to take like, I took a Saturday off because I work six days a week. And, and yeah. if you're not okay up here, we, we can't really do anything else for ourselves. Right. So kudos to you. Good for you. Like sometimes you got to take a day off, especially if you're working on a Sunday and you know, it's, it's putting ourselves first sometimes when we're constantly giving to others, like it's super important, right? Because we, yeah. what, what happens if like we implode or self-destruct or, you know what I mean? Like then we can't help anybody. So we have to take care of ourselves. So, um, I'm, I'm happy for you. And, and Taryn is also staying on also in the group, which is awesome. Cause like, I just, I love you guys. And I really, I just love to see how you grow like in your life and with the nutrition and everything else. So I'm excited you're staying on and I'm glad that you took the day off tomorrow. So good. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you're doing all this stuff for yourself, Taryn. I'm proud of you, girl. Thanks. All right. Anybody else? Lori, Lori, come on, Lori. Lori, what is going on, Lori? You're killing me, Lori. We'll figure it out. Um, I can't hear you, Lori. I can't hear you. All right. Does anybody else want to um, 
celebrate a win? Challenge? Anybody? Bueller? No? Anybody else talking? No? Good. Um, I'll share. Yes, go. Ash, yes. Yeah, um, I, oh shoot, uh, my, I finally figured out how to actually count macros, and it finally clicked, um, it was a, ch I guess a challenge and a win, um, I was, at first I started doing it, and I was like, oh, I got this, and then I, like, checked my fitness pal, and it was, like, all off, I was like, oh, man, I got really frustrated, I was like, you know, Shara, I was texting you, um, just kind of so confused, and not really, like, knowing what to do and then um sherry and i had a call and it really like made a lot of sense and now i totally get it so and i feel honestly like i've only really been doing it for about a week but um i weighed myself at the gym on thursday i lost three pounds and just overall i feel much better like i don't have like i used to have this like bloated type feeling um and i just feel so much better overall so that's awesome <laughs> That's fantastic. Listen, three pounds is, is, that's a lot. So, and it's crazy how sometimes we change like the hat, the smallest habits. And that's where like the biggest differences come in for us. Like sometimes it can happen so fast. And then now it's just a matter of like being consistent with it. Right. Again, you know, I give me three of your goals and give me your yeah. five whys. And you know, like these are the things like last week on the call, I was saying like, you know, write the empowering motivational quotes on your mirrors because like, you have to remember these, you know, things that are going on when you feel like you might be struggling to like stick to the plan. Right. So, and again, Monday's motivational tip is going to talk about some of these things. And, um, so that's awesome, Ash. Like, I know we had a little bump in the road first, but yeah. you're getting oh, yeah. it. <laughs> that's okay. You're getting it and you're, yeah. you're going to get there. And so that's awesome. And it's crazy. Like I feel I have so much more energy like at work. So I feel like it's also like affecting my professional life as well so that's awesome everything good that happens to you when you feel well vibrates into the rest of your life so you know it's like if you feel good you know when you're eating better right you're feeling better so that you get better workouts you have more energy so you're performing better at work it's it spreads itself around so it's not just about being in the gym it's about everything in life so yeah awesome. yay yay <laughs> Awesome. All right. So I'm going to actually just take it over to, um, I'm going to take it over to Lydia because technically this is your last call. So yes. But we're a program, so that's okay. <laughs> so any, any last words, any, anything you want to share with the group, anything? Um, so it's, um, I don't know. Now, <laughs> now I'm going to get all emotional. Um, so no, it's been a really great program. Um, I, I'm not going to continue, but um, I I anticipate that I will have to at some point, um, several times a year maybe, have to consult with you. Uh, you know, making sure that I'm still on track, um, because I could easily see how I don't. I don't know if my, now that I understand these macros, like, I don't know, it's not that I wouldn't continue to follow that, but it's, you know, it's easy to um, stop paying attention, <laughs> stop being so vigilant 100%. on it, you know? So, um, but no, it's been such a great program um, with everyone and it's wonderful to see it's, it's growing and, um, I hope it continues because I really do think it makes such a big difference. It's, it's, you know, the program is like in other challenges after six weeks and then you're done and then you just go back to what you used to do. And that doesn't really help in the long run. So uh, well, I like that this is, you know, you're, you're thinking about long-term how we should be eating and taking well, let me, let me ask you a question. Why do you feel like you can't be as vigilant anymore just because you're not in the program? Um, wh well, I guess in the past, uh, when I have done other weight loss programs, you know, Weight Watchers and Nutrisystem and whatever else it comes along, there's just the, over time, there's usually, you know, you kind of uh, let things go and then you, your old habits work in. So, but this one I'm trying to, um, to not let that happen, you know, 
Um, so, so here, here's the thing. So just because you're not in the program anymore, you need to remember why you wanted this in the first place. Like why do we all want to like look better, feel better, have more energy, you know, like you, you should constantly go back to that. And like, you know, you, you listen to audiobooks that are like empowering and like teaching you things like, why should you let yourself fall off? Like, why wouldn't you want to do this like for yourself all the time? Like, right. why wouldn't you want to look this amazing <laughs> all the time? Right? Like, yes. So yes, well, you know, life gets lifey and then things, <laughs> things happen. So, um, I mean, that's, I mean, when I was, you know, 15 years ago when I went through Weight Watchers and I reached my goal weight and I was doing maintenance and then I don't know, life got lifey. And then you just kind of, stop doing, you know, stop working the program. But um, I don't know. I just feel like this is, this has been different for me. Um, I don't, I, you know, I'm, I, like you're saying, like, I do feel like empowered by it. And um, I don't know if it's maybe it's cause I'm older now, but I don't want to go back to what I was doing before because it got clearly it wasn't working. Um, and, and that's the thing when, when life, so here's the thing, like life gets lifey for all of us, right? Life gets lifey for me, but I'll tell you what, what I have grown a habit of over the years is I may have fallen off for a little while with eating five times a day, but I, I don't ever fall off of eating like healthy food, which thank God has allowed me to stay in a certain place for myself that when I look in the mirror, I'm still happy with that. Right. Mm -hmm. so like I was telling you guys when January started and like the easy challenge started, I said, you know what, let me cut my own crap and go back to eating my five times a day. And I'm feeling better. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm seeing more than I want, but now I want more. Like I want more than that for myself. So it, you know, even though life got lifey for me this week, mm -hmm. I still ate all my food and I still like, you know, I didn't eat crap and I wanted Doritos, but I didn't have them. You know what I mean? So you have to hone in, right? When yeah. life is lifey and be like, what do I really want? Right? Do right. I want to fall down the rabbit hole that I might not be able to crawl out of? Or do I want to like at least you know, you may not hit the five meals, but like, don't let yourself eat shit or right. you know what I mean? like you, you have to realize what, what is it that you want? Because we could all do that. Like my life could have been like shit this week too. And I would have been like, screw this. I'm going to eat shit all week. And I'm gonna have this and this and this. But I didn't because I still have to look at myself in the mirror yeah. every day and be okay with what I see. So I want you to do the same thing. And I really want you to remember, you know, why you're doing this for yourself in the first place, right? It's not about vanity. It's not about right. vanity, right? So that's, I can hope that that is the one thing that you continue to take with you, right? Because now you yeah. have tools and now you can always think too, like, Shari would get upset with me. <laughs> Shari would be on my ass. But you know, like, it's, it's, it's something that I want you that's what's you know if that's super important to you. yeah well I mean something for me has changed because in the course of this program I've only had one binge which yeah. in the past that there would have been well first of all that one binge would have ended up lasting for several days right. to a week or more but I did have my one binge and then I just kind of regrouped that day and then started my at the next meal over again that is not my normal behavior so i don't know something has definitely clicked this time around that's awesome um yeah so. I, i'd raise this sense i don't know if he wanted to comment on like any something that you were saying and un, you can unmute yourself yes i just wanted to say that i think you should take that picture from the wedding and put it somewhere that you can see it all the time because <laughs> Dude. Yes, I know. I should just skip the scale and just put that on once a week. And well, that's something that Danielle has said like a number of times. Like the pictures just tell such a story where the scale just yeah. totally messes minds. And you look so amazing in that picture. 
Um, the one thing that I heard you say that really, really triggers me with everybody is you actually said, this isn't like the six week challenge. Like I wouldn't even put the word challenge in the same sentence as what this program has done for you and for everybody else, just from the mindset standpoint, because yeah. challenge, the challenge is what it is. Right. And I just did the last challenge because I knew it was percentage of, so I'm like, cool. I don't have to worry about my body weight. And I know I want to lose body fat. That's a goal of mine. And in order to do that, I have to eat a certain way. Right. And I binged too a couple of times, but you know, don't tell Sherry. And I don't know if she noticed, but I'm eating her rice cakes right now too. So um, <laughs> anyway, um, but other than that, I just think that don't, don't doubt yourself. Like even when you got on the scale uh, and you did your in-body and you said, this thing must be broken. Um, you know, it's, well, I really thought that that was crazy numbers. <laughs> at, maybe it was broken because you put on so much muscle, it couldn't handle it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's, just a, that's just amazing. And I actually am at a point where I'm a very muscular person already. I put on three pounds of muscle. I was shocked, totally shocked. So, but I'm not going to say that it was broken. I'm going to receive it. I'm like, yes, I'll take that because I didn't expect that. I really just was hoping to lose body fat. So yeah. just, you know, receive it and to be able to look at that picture and be like, I am a badass and I do have muscle. Let flex a little bit in the mirror, kiss it a little <laughs> bit, you know, cause you did an amazing job. And I remember when you first started and you were eating like one meal a day and you know, you had your struggles because of um, what your diet is and now look at you. So yeah. that's just yeah. freaking amazing. That's thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Sherry. <laughs> And I made it on the easy nominations thing under beast mode. Yeah, I took go. a picture of that. That made me laugh. That's awesome. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I couldn't have to get over that. I'm, uh, you know, I'm really glad that you were here, and I'm really glad that you got something out of this program. And like I said, do not forget your whys, and do not, you know, don't let life get you to, you know, don't let life yeah. be too lifey for you, okay? Because you worked so hard to get to this point that I want you to stay here and I want you to always you know, work to, to you know be your best. So um but I'll see you in the booty program too. So thank that's you. That's true. Yeah. So that's awesome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And last I'm gonna go over to Megan, where are you? Put your video on girl. Can you see me? Hold on. No. There you are. Hi. Hi. Sorry, Hi. I look like a troll right now. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, do you want to share with us what you feel like you got out of the program? And, uh, yeah. Well, sorry, my puppy's here. Um, I definitely, well, I learned how to cook, as you all probably heard last time, because I couldn't cook. I was just, you know, <laughs> eating chicken nuggets my whole life, uh, which was really good, because that saves me a lot of time, a lot of money, if I just do it myself. Um, uh, as far as... Like it, it was the group was good because you forget sometimes that like other people have to deal with stuff every day too. You know, you always feel like you're the only one that like like all this shit's happening too. But it was you know good to have like support and like seeing everybody do really well. That was my favorite part. I think is like every day they just had all these achievements. So yeah. um, it was definitely definitely worthwhile. And I'll keep up with it. The hardest part I think is finding the time. To, to just get everything done like the last couple of weeks I've, I've been in, in school and then work and then you know I gotta sleep sometimes so um, that's the only challenge I see like moving forward but I know I have all the tools now so it should be good. Awesome well thank you and we're glad we're glad that you're here and thank you for being one of everyone's cheerleaders and you know we'll see you in the gym and I'm gonna keep on your ass anyway so it's all good. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lori, one more time. Lori, are you there, Lori? Oh, my goodness, woman. Hello? Can you hear me now? Yes. I don't know what the heck happened. <laughs> I don't know either. I think you're logged in on two locations. What's up? Lori, tell everyone why you're here and what your challenges are and just tell us everything. Why am I here? Because I need to be held accountable and I'm going through a bit of a crisis right now. So I'm hoping that 
this group can help get me through that because I have to get my eating healthy so I can get me healthy. Well, first things first, we're going to change that word, right? What do we mm -hmm. do? Positive language, not crisis. Challenge. We have a little bump in the road. A little bit. <laughs> a little bump in the road, but that's okay. And you don't have to necessarily share with everyone right now, but that's okay. Yeah, so I mean, I'm just looking to um, get my eating straight, and I don't know how much of the gym I'm going to be able to do in the coming weeks, but for right now, I'll be able to. Um, so I'm going to try and get my three days in and, uh, you know, get my eating right, and I don't know, that's about it. Get me to, get me to where I want to be, 50 and fabulous. Yeah, baby, 50 and <laughs> fabulous. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, other than the gym, I mean, well, I know what some of the challenges may be, but at the end of the day, we are going to be here for you and we are going to support you and we are not going to let you fall through the cracks here. All right. We're going to put on you like white on rice. So, um, I'm glad you're here, Lori. And, um, anything else that you want to share? Or are you good? I'm good for now. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad we got you working finally. All right. <laughs> I told you I'm not good with technology. Neither am I. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. All right, guys. If everyone else is good, we are going to get off the call for the evening. Look out for that video tomorrow because I got some stuff I want to say to you guys. All right. And you may not like it, but it's going to be the truth. All right. And sometimes we got to speak the truth to ourselves. So look out for tomorrow's Monday motivational tip. All right, because I think people are going to be like, ah, okay, right? It's going to be one of those thinkers. It's going to make you look a little deep inside yourself. All right, so peace, take care. I love you all. Get some rest. I will see you all during the week. Bye, guys.